Hello all, welcome to part 18 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to add description to the tests that are created in the Extent Reports. So let's get started. So till now, we were creating the test in Extend Report, but we are only mentioning the test name, like uh, some sample test name, like test one or test two or test three, we were mentioning, but we are not describing the test while creating the test. But how to add description to that particular test that we are creating to get generated in the Extend Report that I'm going to practically show in this session. Okay, this is the format, guys. So we use the object of the Extend Report, dot, extend dot, create test, and here, Earlier, we used to only provide the name of the test that we wanted to create in the extent report that is going to get generated. Now, along with that, side to the side as an additional argument, we'll provide the description of the test. Okay, we can describe the test like this. Okay, so this is test one or this is something. Okay, this is uh, something like that. You can describe the test here. Okay, in a detailed manner. So uh, let me practically show you what I'm talking about. Okay, first I'll show you without description, then I'll add the description and show you, okay? Two variations, you, I'll show you, okay? I'll, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID, I have switched to this Eclipse ID. Here, uh, this code we have, we have been following from the previous session, so I don't have to explain again. So simple, guys, uh, I'll use this object reference of this extent reports here, dot, create test, I'll say, create test, and here, only test name I am providing, okay? Only test name, let's say test one. This is the name of the test, okay? Let's say test one. Now, this method will return the object of the object type of the extend test, okay? I'll say e-test one is equal to, okay? If like this, you can create multiple tests, you already know, over the mouse on this and simply create local variable, okay? And the return type of this method will get added as the definition of this object reference. Now, use object reference, e-test one, the test got created and this test will be now displayed in the generated extent report. Now, what I want to do here is, uh, I can lock something, or if you don't want to lock something, that is also fine. Uh, for sample, I lock something, guys, okay? Just for sample, status.info, status.info, uh, test one, execution started, okay? Like this, I have run the test, okay? Done. This one, execution started. Okay, now run the test. Uh, this time you will not get any description, guys. Okay, uh, you you will see the test uh, getting created in the extent report with this name, and uh, you will see this particular log under the test. Okay, but description won't be there. You see the report is automatically opening because here we have the last line. This is from Java, guys. This I have covered in the previous sessions. If you don't know what is this, please refer to the previous session. It will automate the opening of the uh, report once it was generated. Okay. I don't have to manually right click and open, it will automatically open the report, okay? So what I'll do here is I'll go here and uh, the report got generated. It's termed as passed because only info logs are there. And you see here we got the log log text, okay? Whatever the log text I given here that we got test one execution started. So what the thing here is we got the test name, we got the test name here and here, and we got the log, log details. But did we get any description of the test? Here is a place where we need to get the description of the test case, which is blank at this moment. So what I'm going to do is here, I'll add additional argument here, okay? So to the same method, I'll add additional argument saying, okay, this, uh, this is uh, describing, okay? This text is, otherwise, this text is describing, okay, just for sample, I'm writing test one, okay? This, te this text is describing test one, like this I'll write, and run this, this time you will see a description also being generated on the, in the report, okay? Along with the test name, you'll also see the description of the test that is, this text is describing, okay? You see, this is the test name, this is the test name, and here we have the description of the test, that is, this text is uh, describing the test one. In real time, we'll provide a proper description, proper test name, but here, for sample, I'm creating a sample test name and sample description, and as usual, we go to the log, okay? So, hope, guys, so hope you understood how to add description to the test in extend report. So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to cover another topic on extend reports for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.